Hi and welcome back. I'm real excited to take you on a video tour on the exterior of this 2017 Renegade Classic by IWS Motor Coaches. You know, this is the first of a series that we're calling our IWS Signature Series. And the reason we call it the Signature Series is that we put a lot of our heart and soul in designing a coach that's under 40 foot in length that has great maneuverability and great power. As you can see, we built this on a Freightliner Cascadia, but instead of using the normal Cascadia, we use the 130. 13 Cascadia and as you can see here the hood's quite a bit shorter than a standard Cascadia. By going with this style of uh, chassis we've really increased the visibility when you're sitting in the driver's seat and also the turnability and the drivability if you will. There's a lot of custom features in this coach and it's really hard to go through it all in the video but we're going to do our absolute best. So this is a Renegade Classic, and a lot of people, when you see a Classic, you typically would think it's white, but you know, as I said in other videos, we can paint these any color you want. It's really hard to get this color to show through on the video, but it's absolutely beautiful. You can also see by looking at the side of the coach here that instead of using the cab over bunk, we opted for the aero cap. And as we show you on the interior video, you can see there's a small bunk up there that's great for storage, but it really changes the overall look to be the exterior of the coach when we paint a classic and change to a aero cap. Now we're going to move through the side compartment boxes on the driver's side of the coach or the street side if you will. As you can see in the first box we've outfitted this coach with two 8D batteries as we do with most of our custom coaches. Now as we moved into the second compartment back you'll notice this is where we've housed the 2800 watt pure sign inverter. You'll also notice the box on the bottom there is the control panel for the roof mounted solar panels that we've installed on this coach. You're going to get about 30 watts of charging power that comes out of the solar panels. We've been doing this pretty much as a standard on all of our custom coaches. It's really been a nice added feature if you will. Now as we move into the next compartment box back you'll see these two doors that behind them is where the septic and the black water tanks are stored. And as you can see we've equipped this coach with a macerator sewage system and you know I've said it a lot before but I'll say it again we just absolutely love this type of septic treatment system and what it does is as the black water comes down through the that black hose there it goes into a grinder and that pump grinds up and emulsifies all the product and then it pumps it out this small blue hose and it's very interesting you know last weekend I was up in Helena in my coach and a couple of campers next to me came over and wanted to know about the macerator system and they said it's really that easy huh and I said yeah just grab that blue hose so he grabbed it and put it in the pipe turned the switch on and I said now just put it back and when we were done, they didn't even realize they had just pumped my septic out. <laughs> and it was, uh, it's, it's really easy to use. It's really clean and a lot more sanitary than other methods. Another thing to point out in this compartment, if you see the black paint in there, what that is is called ceramic temp coat. And we have Renegade spray this temp coat on there. And it's really a ceramic insulation and it really helps to improve the all weather capability of your coach. You'll also notice that we've installed a, a ceramic heater in this compartment to help so that you can use it year round. And we really take a lot of pride in trying to make these coaches survive in the coldest of weather. Now as we move into the water management bay, you can say, see we've gone with all of our standard control features in here. You have your black tank dump valve, the gray tank dump valve, you got your tank wash system, the flow jet switch for the macerator sewage system, city water and tank fill, you have your low point drain, and we also added hot and cold water outlets at the back. It's something that I wanted on my coach, and so we've transferred it over to this coach as well. I also want to point out in this compartment, we also did the ceramic temp coat, which is a ceramic insulation coating that we spray on the inside of the compartments to make sure that you can use this coach in the middle of the winter. Now we're going to move back into the generator compartment. And as you can see on this coach, we've equipped it with the 12.5 kW Cummins generator. And the reason that we put a 12.5 kW in this coach is that we've equipped this with three air conditioners. And you know, three air conditioners is almost overkill in a coach this side. Well, in fact, it is overkill because of the upgraded insulation. But you know, we're gonna put our name on this and call it the Signature Series. And 
Me being the president of the company, I'm gonna put my name on it. So we mirrored the same thing that I use in my own personal coach. And I have a 40 foot coach, as I've mentioned before, and I went for the 12.5 KW. When you driving one of these coaches and you look back, I don't think you'll ever once call and say, boy, I wish I had to put a bigger generator in it because we put the biggest generator that you would ever need in this coach. It's gonna to have tons of reserve power in it and it's nice and quiet. The fuel consumption is great. It's just a fantastic complement if you're building the ultimate in a in an RV or an ultimate in a motor coach, which we feel we're doing here. Now we've moved back into the rearmost compartment and in this compartment, you'll see the electric switch, but more importantly, this is where we install the uh, powered cord reel, which is fantastic. When you wanna pull some cord out, you just push the release button or when you wanna wind it in. And I realize you could save a few dollars by coiling it by hand, but you know, when you get into a coach of this caliber, you know, it would be kind of senseless to try to cut any corners. You know, you really owe it to yourself to have the absolute best that Renegade and IWS has to offer. And that's what we're trying to do with this coach. You'll also notice there's a spare 30 amp plug there. And if you're pulling a trailer behind this, it requires power, you can plug it in there. Or if you you know, have a friend next door that needs extra power, you can plug them in right here and you'll have an extra 30 amps of AC power for them. It's just a great complement to this coach. Now, as we move around to the rear of the coach, I wanna talk to you a little bit about the perimeter or safety security lighting that we've installed. As you can see here, we've installed Right below the rear backup cam, we've installed these high-powered LED lights, and they have a high and low setting. We install two on the passenger side, which is the curb side, two on the driver's side, which is the street side, and one in the rear. They're fantastic lights. You know, if you're outside and you hear a bump in the night, you can hit all three switches to high beam. All five of them lights are gonna come on and you're gonna illuminate an area two to 300 feet around your coach. If it's in the evening and you're just outside around the campfire or having an evening supper outside, you can turn them to low. And with three different switches, you can choose, you know, which lights you wanna have on. And it's just absolutely fantastic. You know, this 4th of July, we had our coach down at the fireworks and when the fireworks were over in the park there were no lights and we turned them lights on and it was like a beacon people were finding their way back to their cars with them it's just a great great feature now we're going to move over and look at the heavy duty ladder that we've had installed on this coach and as you can see by its design it's it's probably one of the stoutest ladders out on the market you know there's nothing cheesy about this i actually think it actually enhances the looks of this coach the way renegade powder coated it in a darker color. Just a fantastic access point for your coach. You know, in just about every video, I talk about the tail lights, and it seems very simple to most people. But, you know, as life would have it, I'm actually headed with my family to Alaska this week. We're going to be gone for a month. And traveling up in Alaska, if I lose a tail light, it's really nice to know that I can pull into any auto parts store and get a LED 7 inch oval light right off the parts counter. This is a standard light that you could find in just about any town anywhere in the US. USA. And I think it's really nice that Renegade stuck true to having a luxury coach, but still having that utility value behind it. Now, as we move over to the trailer hitch, this coach is equipped with a 20,000 pound trailer hitch. It's actually could be rated as a 30,000 pound hitch, but since it only has single rear wheels, the hitch is rated at 20,000 pounds. And it's more than capable to haul, you know, any uh, car trailer, boat, or flat towing a pickup like I do. I flat tow my full size GMC pickup behind it with the Polaris Razor in the back. It's a hitch that you can be very confident in. Now we're gonna move over to the passenger side of the coach and run the wardrobe slide out from the bedroom. As you can see, the attention to detail on the paint is just impeccable as you look at the how the paint matches in the slide out. Now we're gonna run out the two-stage awning and on the Signature Series coaches, we're, gonna, we're installing the upgraded Mirage Carefree Awning, and this awning comes out in two stages. And As you watch it, it's gonna come out straight and then it drops down, and that really helps on these tall coaches to combat the sun. And as you can see here, as it drops down, it's really done a good job of creating a nice shade point. Also notice there's LED light strips at the end of the awning, which is fantastic when you're out in the evening just having a casual you know, evening outside. It offer some nice soft lighting.
Now, as we go through the curbside or passenger side compartments, there's really all about storage. These compartments, as you go through them, are just dedicated to storage for anything you might want to install in them. I want to hold up just a minute in this compartment because what we did here is we installed what's called the refrigerator freezer prep package with a slide out tray. If you look in the upper right hand corner of this box you'll see a 110 outlet and a 12 volt outlet. And we do this just in case you want to add a refrigerator freezer. You just put it in the tray and plug it in and you're good to go. If you don't want to use a fridge freezer this is a great tray to just put your cooler in. Now we're going to finish off the tour just showing the rest of the storage compartments. Now as we move over, we're going to talk a little bit about the entrance door. And as you can see, Renegade's installed a nice LED light on it, but I want you to really pay attention to the paint details as it goes over the porch light. You know, nothing's left out when these guys do a paint job. They're just fantastic. Now we're going to move over to the outside entertainment center. And this TV's connected to the direct TV receivers inside of the coach. It also has an outside DVD player here in the stereo. You can also hook your telephone up or your iPad to it or iPod so you can play music on the outside. It's just really a nice uh, amenity to have on the coach. Now we're going to continue the tour by moving around to the chassis and talking about it a little more. You know, I can't say enough good about these Cascadia chassis. You know, the Freightliner M2 is a great chassis, but it's a vocational chassis. When you move up into this Cascadia chassis, you're in a Class 8 over-the-road chassis, and everything's designed for sound and ergonomics and driver comforts. And just look at the mirror right here. You know, when you're driving down the road, you don't get mirror buffeting. They're power. They're they're very easy to see. Shape of the side window makes it easy to see out of them. The steps are nice to get in and out of it. It's got big grab handles on the door. You know, I can just go on and on about this coach. And in fact, I believe in them so much I own one myself. Now when it comes to the power plant, you know, we have a customer who ordered a coach from us that owned 50 some odd trucks. And he was really the person that really added a lot of comfort level to me for these Detroit engines about how successful he was in his own business by owning these power plants. And after doing some research, I have to agree with him that we think this Detroit 13 liter is just a fantastic engine. You know, it has one of the highest V50 life ratings out there in the industry. It's 470 horsepower. It makes 1,650 foot-pounds of torque. It has incredible service intervals. I believe under normal service, this engine, you can go 25,000 miles before you need to do an oil change on it. And that really says a lot about the components. It also has a virtual technician on it, so they can uh, come in and remote diagnose this engine from uh, thousands of miles away. It's got tons of power, lots of torque. I think it's just absolutely absolute right sized engine for this particular length of coach and size of coach. And you know, I said it before, I, I believe in it so much, I actually own this in my own personal coach. Well, I hope you found this video useful, and I really want to thank you for spending a little time with us today and watching this video. If you're ever in the neighborhood, be sure to stop by and say hi, and heck, maybe we can even go on a test drive. Thanks again, and I look forward to seeing you.